Hello YouTube and welcome to a new camera sample video, this time about the Elephone U. So the Elephone U, like the Pro model, packs a dual main camera based on two 13 megapixel sensors. The sensors used inside of there are a Samsung S5K3L8 with an aperture value of f2.2. The front camera is based on an 8 megapixel Samsung S5K4H7 sensor with an aperture value of f2.8. When it comes to the camera app, the Elephone U packs a different one than the Pro model. It is a very basic camera app that is very easy to use. On the main screen you have some basic controls on the top as well as an orange button that gives you access to the mode switcher. Available modes are a standard mode, a stereo mode for bouquet shots as well as a night and a panorama mode. There also is a button that opens up the settings in which you can set various stuff regarding the pictures or videos if you are in video mode. There is also an option for shooting in raw mode. Back on the main screen on the bottom area you can switch between photo and video mode and right below the switcher there is a shutter button, a gallery shortcut as well as an option for effects. In bouquet mode, unlike with the Pro model, it is possible to change the aperture value in order to adjust the intensity of the bouquet effect which is a very useful tool to get a proper result even during complicated situations. So let's move on to actual camera samples and here the results are kinda mixed. The camera of the Elephone U for sure isn't bad, but just like the Pro model it has some small issues that make it perform worse than it should in this price range. Sometimes you get really nice pictures in standard mode as you can see, but the results are far from being consistent. Sometimes the pictures do look slightly blurry for some reason, which does not seem to be caused by shaky hands but rather by the software itself. It looks like the slight blurriness you sometimes get in the pictures is caused by the focus which sometimes has issues finding the right spot as you can see here. But still, if you don't need a perfect camera it still gets the job done. In terms of colors, the pictures look close to reality and often enough the shots actually look quite good. So the camera is far from being unusable when it comes to daylight shots. What's very impressive is how well the bouquet mode works on this one. There are worlds in between the Elephone U and the Elephone U Pro. The U Pro's bouquet mode is always kinda unreliable and tends to screw up on subjects with complex contours. The Elephone U however never has such issues. If you learn how to use the manual aperture control, you almost never get a failed bouquet shot. The phone does a great job analyzing the contours and applying the bouquet effect properly. It even handles rather complicated lighting situations very well, for example direct light. And even moving things don't destroy the bouquet effect as you can see on that picture of the plastic that was moving in the wind. But still, the bouquet mode isn't without its issues. Something that becomes very obvious immediately is that all bouquet shots do lack a lot of detail on the areas in focus. But that's definitely a thing of software and this might be improved in the future. What's as bad as on the U Pro is the low light performance of the Elephone U. As soon as there is a lack of light, sharpness starts to suffer and a very obvious noise sets in that becomes more intense the darker it gets. At night, the Elephone U doesn't do any useful pictures at all. The same by the way applies to the front camera. While selfies shot at daylight look pretty good, selfies shot at night are unusable. And unlike the U Pro, the Elephone U doesn't even have a screen flash. When it comes to videos, the Elephone U is limited to Full HD on both cameras. The quality on both cameras is significantly behind the quality you get on the U Pro. Recordings just lack detail. While the videos of the main camera still look ok, the video quality of the front camera just sucks and really isn't usable for anything more demanding than video chats. What's kinda strange too is that contrary to the Elephone U Pro, the Elephone U does not support PDAF which means the focus is kinda slow. Also, the stock camera app does not support continuous autofocus, which is a shame. The Elephone U Pro supports electronic image stabilization for both the front and the rear camera and when turning it off, EIS is actually turned on and vice versa. And that's probably all you need to know about the Elephone U's camera. In general, not a very bad one, but not great either. So let's just hope they are going to fix some of the issues so it performs better in the future. And that's it for this video, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the full review.
This is a full HD video recording sample using the main camera of the LFONU with EIS enabled. And it does not support continuous autofocus, so to get a sharp picture you need to do tap to focus. And also the focus is much slower than on the Pro model. This is another Full HD sample, but this time with EIS disabled. And for some reason with disabled EIS the picture seems more stabilized than with. Now that's strange. And now I'm recording on the front camera of the Elephone U, which supports Full HD recording as well. And this one also supports electronic image stabilization, which is enabled right now. And now I have disabled electronic image stabilization and resolution still is Full HD.